you ever been told to do a whole bunch of things all at once, but not explained how to do all of the things that are on the things that you told you were told to do? If so, then you're experiencing total task chaining. Um, so total task chaining. First off, you need to go back and watch that uh, other video that's over there, over there, up there. I don't know where the heck it is. Anyway, uh, the other video on uh, task analysis. And what, what what we're really talking about here is when you have a complex behavior, you're going to break it down into a bunch of little pieces. Those little pieces are called task analyses, right? Um, such as this little table right here, right? Build a table. Guess what? There's a lot of individual behaviors that are involved in building a table. Um, this thing's been... Uh, I don't really want to comment on all the things that's happened to this table. Um, or on this table, actually, is a whole different issue. No, sorry, I digress. Um, so anyway, the idea is, is that when you, instead of breaking it down into little pieces, when you teach the complex skill, what you do is you list a set of things that you need to do and say, do it. And you don't do any sort of things for the learner at all. So with it, like backward chaining, you do some for the learner, forward chaining, you do some for the learner and you fade that in um, and you reduce your support as time goes on. With total task chaining, you literally say, here's the list of things you need to do in order to have this complex behavior. It's called building a table, whatever it is. Um, and you just let the person go do it. And then the reinforcer exists at the end of, uh, of that uh, um uh, of the complex chain, so to speak. So it's it, it's a difficult way to learn, um, but uh, it, it is used often, believe it or not. So I'll let you guys come up with some more examples. Other than building a table.